through the life of a teacher, I focus so much energy on youth and I ponder, how long will that child ever live? Sadly, I have to say, over the many years of teaching, I've seen a lot of them gone now. Community's been dealing with change for a while now, and a little more than five years, but over the last period of years, um, different programs have come. They see that need for the change. The way Kugluk Tokyo used to be um, when MFT started five years ago, Kugluk Tokyo was, was, was really rough. Things were difficult. The whole community has responded to the number of suicides in Kugluktuk. They say enough is enough. So the idea was that we go out and we tell the people this is what's hurting us. If you said it by yourself and your parents saw you saying that by yourself, you're scared, right? They said, yeah. But if we did it strength in numbers, if we all shared one voice, what's that one voice going to sound like if we said it out loud together and we said it outside on the street, outside of the schoolyard, and we all said the same words? <laughs> I mean, the main focus of what we always try to do is implement um, some type of cultural activity um, or get elders connected with the youth um, in order to help um, pass on the knowledge, pass on the language, um, and really just promote that connection. Today we're making bannock. I look forward to it because I have a good time. Today we are learning about fish nets, and on Saturday we are going fishing. We do cultural things like fishing and being on the land. Taima, Taima, Aturang in Narome, Inuit, Inugramme, Amihut, our Laruti, our Hatelum, in Mini Lutamna, our Lerumiko, Havak to Rakat, Kuwea Hulangir to Ikinak to Homi to Ayushanatamna. It's an adult hangout program for adults to come and hang out. People who are single or alone or who aren't even working and have nowhere else to go. Every Tuesday night we gather together and teach skills, parka making mostly, sewing mitts and uh, comics. It's really nice to see everybody that it wants to learn these things, you know, you gotta keep it going. You see them in town and they're more happier. It's good that something like this is happening. How you doing? Good. When last did you talk to your brother? My manager told me that what we're doing in Kugluktuk is gonna be uh, the blueprint for the whole of Nunavut. Are you missing him? Huh? Are you missing him? Yeah. 
Okay. But do you know where he is right now? In Toronto. Okay. Seeing a challenging patient, getting to a challenging patient, I'll come to MFT. They have built relationship in this community. They have spread their, their wings in every fiber of the community. People know them. People trust them. I would like for it to keep going because we don't want it to disappear. We want to keep teaching the kids and also the elders would like to keep it going too and teach the young ones. We'd like to keep passing it on to the next generation. This program taught me how to get along with people. If we weren't here, we'd just be walking around town. I've learned to encourage my friends instead of putting them down. We talked about what's happening in life. It makes me feel safe. I'd like to see us all laughing and having fun. This is what I want to see with the younger kids, you know, keeping themselves busy with, uh, with the elders, you know, trying to learn their language, learn their ways up their culture. One of my f slogans I like to share with people is, busy is good. People have to engage their minds in keeping a mind thinking forward. Thank you.